Hi everyone, my name is Hannah Van Alst. I'm an artist and a basket maker. Today I'll show you how to make this little, cute little berry picking basket. I'll show you how to make this little basket step by step. So what we need is roughly about around 90 to 100 um, willow rods. Um, some of those, 24 of those, will need to be slightly heavier. They'll be your uprights, but we can stay small. Three foot um, rods are perfect for weaving. Maybe the uprights could be four foot unless you have a little bit of a chunkier three foot. I have made a small base. I'll leave a link to a different video I've made about um, how to start off your base. Um, so this is a smaller one. I've started with uh, base sticks that are about 20 centimeters, eight inches. And I've finished at um, seven and a half inches, around 16, 17 centimeters. Next, I'll get my uprights. I'm gonna slide them, cut them all um, to a point. So I have a nice sharp point on them and I'm gonna slide them into the base. Um, one either side of each base stick. Next is we're gonna turn the whole base over we want it to curve downwards like that and I'm going to use my thumb or any other sharp object you have um, the back of a knife or something I'm just going to kink my uprights 90 degrees getting them ready to um, become the side of the basket that done I'm going to collect my uprights together and tie them up so they stay up straight and now I'm going to start weaving the sides and I will start doing my whale. Um, again, there's another video I did about a whale. I'll leave a link for that video um, in the description below. And I'm starting on opposite sides, so I've three um, weavers on opposite side doing chasing. So now I'm finished with my whale, I'm going to start a different kind of weave um, called um, French rounding. I have 24 weavers, I've made them all the same lengths by just putting the tips together and then evening out uh, whatever is sticking out the butt side. So for doing the weaving, you can start anywhere. Um, you're going to put in um, one weaver with the butt first in any gap and then just weave it in front of one and behind one. Then I'm going to take my second weaver, I'm going to move one space to the left and do the same thing, weave it in front of one, behind one. Take my third weaver, go to the next left uh, gap and weave it in front of one, behind one. And that's basically how I will go and do and put in th this is this is basically how I will put in all my weavers so I will just continue adding my weavers like this until I come back to the first few I put in A 
as you see, I'm coming back to where I started. So there's still one gap here with no stick in there. So I'm going to weave that one as well. <clears throat> but then um, I need to work underneath the previous two that I put in. So I'm going to push these ones up, slide my weaver in underneath and add him as well. Same here, I'm actually going under two now and then weave it in front of one behind one and then I can press them all down and that means I have one stick coming out of each and every gap. From now on I'm going to weave same way um, in front of one behind one which each and every weaver I can start anywhere I want and I'm just going to go in front of one behind one then take the weaver to the next to the left and do the same thing weave it in front of one and behind one then take the weaver to the left again and weave it in front of one behind one all the way until I come back to the start When I come back to the start, I see that there's actually double weavers coming out of these gaps, um, which is the, the top ones are the ones that we um, that I was weaving with first. So I'm going to lift them up and then just weave these two as usual in front of one, behind one. And then press them all down and my full round is done and I can start again on my second round. I'm going to keep going like that until my weavers run out or until I've reached the height that I'm looking for. Now that I've finished my um, randing, I'm going to um, start and doing a whale again, just the same as what we did at the start. I'm just going to do a very easy track border. So I'm going to kink my um, willow a little bit slightly higher then um, then the top of the weaving and then I'm going to bring it behind the next upright from now on I can kink it the my upright against the previous one and then go behind the next one I'm going to kink it and weave it behind one. Kink it and weave it behind one. Kink it and weave it. So that's how I'm going to continue the whole way around. And to do the last one, I'm going to kink it and then I'm going to thread it through underneath the first one we put down. So I'm just going to gently pull it through. And there you go, we have a little very easy track border done. I'm going to trim uh, the edges and then put in the handle. To do the handle, I'm firstly just kind of measuring my stick making sure that um, it can go quite down quite a bit maybe a bit shorter than this and then I'm going to make a point on both sides of the handle stick I use my knife for that just make a nice long cut Something like that on both sides. Next, I'm going to push it into the weaving right beside one of the uprights. That's better. 
and I push it in really as far down as I can go just up, up to all the way down here and then I'm gently going to try to do the same on the opposite side um, being careful not to kink it only just barely managed to uh, push the handle in without kinking it um, but once it's in um, because this is going to be a basket that is not going to carry a lot of weight um, what we'll do is we're going to peg the handle so usually for a shopping basket we would wrap the handle and then tie the wrappings onto the basket to make it strong for this one I'm just going to peg it so just underneath the whale here I'm going to take my botkin and go through my upright uh, sorry go through my handle stick so I'm basically splitting it making a hole through it and then I'm going to take a piece of willow and push that into that gap through to the inside and then I can trim this and on the inside and now my basket is pegged the handle is pegged in and it can't go anywhere hope you enjoyed it and it, it was helpful to you i'd love to see uh, pictures if you make the basket leave them in the comments below um, if you want to learn more about basket making i've made a free class it's an online course you can um, have a look at it i'll leave, I'll leave the link in the description below um, for you to sign up that's it for now. Happy weaving.